all right guys this is a really quick video uh just to illustrate some of the questions i had uh before actually figuring this out uh, i have a here a 2016 mercedes uh class c 300 and uh, the customer would come in uh, what came in for a complaint with the code p0299 uh, pretty much under boost right losing boost pressure so I did a smoke test on the vehicle. I didn't find anything wrong um, uh, in any hoses, any leaks whatsoever. So I went ahead and I took out the turbo, which was probably, um, it's more of a hands-on technique, right? Like, I mean, I, I have a scanner um, that I could have picked up and tested this prior, but I knew there was something mechanically wrong um, with the wastegate is what I figured. So bottom line, cut to the chase. This is for some of you that just kind of want to get a, a in-depth um, solution, possibly something to look for. Uh, so on this is the original one, and it's a whole housing with the turbo and uh, the diverter valve is what I initially thought might have been the problem. It goes here. Uh, the new one, which is a used one, has it. Uh, but at first, I initially thought it might have been the diverter valve. I took it off. Um, and I pretty much just, uh, I, I looked at it and, uh, to see if it was binding in any way. And, um, and it wasn't, it wasn't binding up. So this is the diverter valve and it's obviously it fell apart, but the way it's assembled, it's like this okay so i thought for initially i thought maybe it was you know leaking pressure through the sides everything's plastic there's no rubber seal other than the seal that goes around it so um it's pretty this diverter valve is pull, pretty bulletproof um I, unless it's binding you know when you're pressing in um then that can be an issue but that wasn't the leak straightforward to the point like i said th that's what this video is all about guys um i inspected if there was any play on the original turbo housing and there is very little play i mean you can almost tell like if you press against one side and try to turn it you might feel a little bit of resistance which after seeing a couple of used ones it seems to be actually normal believe it or not uh, but it, it turns fine. I mean, if I put if I put some air to it, right? It turns fine, but it stops rather quickly compared to the new used one that I got. Not to mention the new used one is louder and it spins uh, a little bit longer. Uh, therefore, my issue, back to my point, was actually the wastegate actuator uh the wastegate actuator i put some vacuum to it and i really want to apologize about the mess guys i don't do this often you know to anyways you get the point so see i'm, I'm applying some vacuum to it to the uh, actuator for the uh, wastegate and it stays stuck open it's 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 actually halfways closed so the diverter valve does go in but halfways so i'll release the pressure and it releases it but not all the way and the new one which is a used one will not only hold pressure maintain pressure but it'll actually close at the wastegate okay uh, whatever that thing is it's up here so but it's closed okay there, it's sealed off there's there's no blow by and if i release this one that linkage obviously extends a lot more okay so my problem in this case guys was my actuator I didn't have enough time to um, 
do enough research to just order this part individually. I tried the dealership, local parts, nobody had it. Of course that would go off. Um, but, so for whoever, I mean, is stuck in a bind, you know, and don't want to take it apart because you're afraid that you might be wasting your time well you might not be wasting your time okay so lucky for me i didn't waste time um i could have you know it, it would have been it could have been worse so there's a couple of things i just got to swap over but guys uh make sure that the new one you can spin freely um uh, and uh also uh the uh actuator right i didn't have a problem with the diverter another thing uh, uh surprisingly i thought this this turbine was going to be stuck because this act this engine actually uh got driven with uh, low oil to the point to where it actually uh started misfiring on one of the cylinders caused internal failure that's another story on its own uh dealership ended up taking care of that under warranty but again guys this this is lubricated with oil right so if you don't have if you're not doing your engine oil services properly or replacing your filters uh the the actual turbo turbine will start seizing up and and start causing you issues so don't don't skip that step right make sure that that thing is either binding up or or working properly before you know you do other things and physically take it off like i said i got lucky all right guys hope this helps i wish i had more time thanks guys